When I was little, I would introduce myself as Nena because I couldn't say Jenna. Also, it proves that you were like a boss from day one. Because even <laughs> as a kid, you know what I mean? Your parents are like, your name's Jenna. You're like, no, it's Nena. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to Pop Dust Presents. I'm your host, Brent Butler, and today I'm here with Jenna Rain. Hey! How are you doing? <laughs> I'm pretty good, how are you? Very good, we're excited to have you here today. I see that you're wearing all white. Yeah. All and you color. have a new... Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try to somehow transition that to say that your latest single is called Technicolor. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Yes, it is. That's so is this part of the branding? Yes, yes, I'm on brand, always have to be. Always okay. wearing color. Not wearing black, but yeah. Never. Never. Nah. No. It's just something. It's just. It's lazy. Why yeah. does somebody just wear all black? Every night? It's up. <laughs> it's like try a little. Yeah. No. Okay. Great. Um, so tell us about that video because I saw it came out about a month ago. It's yeah. got already like, over a million views. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The music video is themed Wizard of Oz, and it was Nayip, the director's idea, like the concept of the video, and it's basically I'm almost. All the girls, or yeah, there's guys too. Guardian Angel. So I'm I'm Wendy, and I'm like walking around with my little basket. Dorothy, did I say Wendy? <laughs> <laughs> Peter Pan. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I, re I, re I remember this version. Um. Anyways, so I was Dorothy walking around with my little basket, and they were all going through like normal things that teenagers would go through. Like one of the girls was like flustered on what she was just going to pick out like to wear for the day. Um, another another couple was like arguing and then as I walked by they were like acting like they were all happy taking pictures and then I walked by again and then they're arguing again. <laughs> and there's just a bunch of Is that of how you leave them? <laughs> yeah. So you walk by once, you fix all their problems and then you're like, never mind. <laughs> I guess that's what What, what all the kids like in the influencer world are going through, like all the friends that I'm friends with, and it's just kind of how it really is, and you don't really see behind the scenes. Very cool. Thank and you. And do you think, will you reprise the, the role of Wendy in any future movies? <laughs> 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 <Dorothy. laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no, I was, it was a one-time one thing, okay. I think. Okay. So that's a Technicolor is a new standalone single, mm -hmm. uh, but otherwise, um, I think January you had your debut EP. Yes, Nen. Nen, yeah. which I'm told is a nickname. Yes, yeah. When I was little, I would introduce myself as Nena because I couldn't say Jenna. So instead of my family calling me Jen, they started calling me Nen. That was my nickname. It's just stuck. That's so good. and wow. only like my close close family friends like know my nickname, so no one else really calls me that. So I thought it was really personal, and I, it was my first DP, so. I think that's really yeah. cool. Also, it proves that you were like a boss from day one. Because even <laughs> as a kid, you know what I mean? Your parents are like, your name's Jenna. You're like, no, it's Nana. <laughs> and eventually they were like, all right, Nana, okay, you got it. <laughs> like, they gave in real quick. <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> like, no, yeah, I think I, I know so. my name. It's Nana. Yeah. It's Nana. I've always been so independent. <laughs> it's Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, absolutely. <laughs> you're never going to let it go, <laughs> never, are you? No. <laughs> Debut EP. Um, what was that like for you? Because I think before you were in a you were in a group, yeah, um, that had a lot of popularity, and then you put out this solo mm -hmm. project. I think I've gotten used to it by now, but okay. I mean, it's nice having my team around me too, just like management and stuff. Because I like I'm such a social person. It was pretty pretty weird, but then also going in the studio writing my debut EP, it was. It was strange because I had never like written with other writers before. Like I had taken lessons and stuff, but I wasn't really sure what was happening. And so Candace Play, um, the writer who's worked with like people like Why Don't We, Christina Aguilera, Rihanna, so many people. I was so honored to work with her. And like I mean, I don't know. It was it was pretty difficult for like a thirteen year old. I was I was very confused with what was going on. But at least I knew what I wanted to do at a very early age. So I was That's determined and driven. And when did you start? I think you played like piano and guitar. Yeah. And... Well, I started piano when I was around five, like in preschool. They had lessons for it. Then I was just like stopped. <laughs> and then I picked it back up around eight. 
And then for my third grade talent show, I told my mom that I wanted to sing and play the piano, play Rolling in the Deep by Adele. And she was like, oh. <laughs> you know, she was like freaking out because bullies. And I was like, I'll, I'll do fine. Like, I got this. Like, I had so much confidence. <laughs> and so, yeah, I did the performance. My parents realized I had potential talent and put me into singing lessons. I had been begging for years and years to get singing lessons. And finally they gave me my first vocal lesson for my 10th birthday and that's how I got all into it. Very cool. And I was actually, that is a good uh, segue to what was gonna be my next question, which is like, who would you consider uh, your top influences? Uh, definitely Ed Sheeran, because I've heard that he can write a song in less than like two hours, which is absolutely insane. Like it takes me, at, at least a day to finish a song. Actually, I've written a song in an hour record, but and, yeah, but he's just so amazing. I love all of his lyrics. He's so inspiring, and he's inspired me in absolutely every way. And I saw I, you did a cover of his. Yeah, oh. yeah, I do. A bu I do a bunch of his songs as covers. I just adore his music. But on whenever he performs on stage, he has like this loop pedal. Yeah, and it's really cool. I haven't been able to see him live yet, which Ooh. kills me inside. And I still haven't seen Tori Kelly, which is another huge one of my influences, live. I haven't seen any of my favorite people live, which is really sad. I just want you to videos. Time. Yeah. And plus, yeah. Ed, he's a huge fan of the show. So, Ed, if you're out there watching, and I know you are, uh, <laughs> hit up Jenna. Like, yeah. You guys will go on tour together. Yeah. Why not? Oh, my and gosh. And then you'll see him die. live, like, every night. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I would die. It'll happen. It's a pop dust, uh, pop dust swing. The pop is full. Whenever we say something on the show, it comes true. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. yes. Pop gotcha. is guaranteed. Okay. But speaking of tour, you actually were just on tour, right? Yeah. In the UK or just with uh, artists in, in the UK? In the UK with Max and Harvey, actually. Two crazy teenagers. Really goofy. Insane. Um, they invited me to go on tour with them in the UK. It was so much fun. An absolute dream come true. I mean, with them, it was... An adventure every day. You never, n never knew when like some prank was gonna pop up. So yeah, I mean it was so much fun. It was so crazy, like meeting fans. Like I hadn't really done that before, and hearing them sing my lyrics back to me was just wow. insane. Yeah. Did you have a favorite place that you went on tour? Uh, it's really hard. So London was the biggest show, but my favorite, like this past tour, because I went on two tours with them. This past tour, my favorite show was Birmingham. So yeah. very cool, and I do believe you're working on another a, a follow-up project. Yes, I am working on new music. I have this new single called "Be Like You" that's coming out really, really soon. I'm so excited about it. I'm filming the music video next week. I Ooh. can't give too much detail on it, too much detail on it. But then I also have an EP coming out, another one, which I haven't released an EP since the beginning of last year. Then, so you have another EP coming out, but you're working on music. Beyond that, already? oh yeah, yeah. I've been in the studio writing. When yeah. I was in London with Max and Harvey for performing at Camp Festival, I went and wrote with a writer, and we did two songs. So I have plenty of music ready to come out. Very yeah. cool. Um, well, we're definitely super excited to hear it. Uh, I'm glad that you can make time for us today. Oh, and, thank uh, you for having me. Yeah, we'll be looking out for uh, for the new single, the new video too. Definitely. Um, all right. Well, thank you so much. Thank uh, you for everybody here. Uh, thank you for joining Pop Dust. Subscribe. Follow Jenna Rain, check out her music, download the EP, stream it. <laughs>